Hi everybody and welcome back to the shop. So today I got a little project. Picked up one of these little kits from Rockler. Not a sponsor. Little transplanter, hand trowel. Got some olive wood. Let's turn a handle. Well the first step in pretty much any wood turning project is let's uh, find the center. Let's find the center. So we'll mount this between centers. Uh, I'm not real familiar with olive wood, not familiar at all with olive wood, and not sure the best approach. I'll put a spur center on one end and just a cone on the other, and we'll just get it round first, and then we're gonna have to drill our hole, and then I'll figure out a mounting solution from there, or we'll continue turning on between centers. I guess my issue is that I would rather put this into a chuck so that the end won't have a little dimple in it. Now I am considering putting one of those cord plugs on the end so that would actually be perfect because then we'd already have a center hole to drill for that. So let me figure that out before we go on to the next step. Off camera what I did is I realized this wasn't very square so I sanded both ends square, recentered, and I did a little cheater hole here because uh, this, this end grain seems pretty hard and I was afraid that trying to force this dead center into here might split the wood. When it comes to the drilling, we've got to make sure we lower our belt speed to pretty much the lowest setting, especially on this Harbor Freight. I think even the lowest is is uh, probably not as low as would be ideal, but we got to work with what we got. Okay, this is easier than trying to figure out if we measure correctly. Yep, it's deep enough. This is why you got to get variable speed. Forgot, I got to change the belt again. Now I'm adjusting this to uh, one pulley away from the high speed. I don't remember what that is. I'll post that on the screen so you know. Okay, great. Well, I've just ruined this.
Okay, now it's time for the epoxy. One little tip I wanted to give you guys is keep rubbing alcohol around when you're doing your epoxy work. It's perfect for cleaning up the spreading tools or any drips that might happen. Yeah, this tool has a little notch on both sides, obviously to help capture a bunch of the epoxy, but I'm gonna goop this up pretty good. And as I was just saying, use some rubbing alcohol and let's clean up all this overspray, overspray, all this squeeze out. Okay, let's get the handle where we want it. And we're gonna let that sit. Okay, and there we have it, an olive wood gardening trowel or as they call it, a transplanter. Now, if you want to stick around, we'll put it to use. Well, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. As far as a finish, I did put some friction polish on here. However, my mixture was imbalanced. I didn't have enough alcohol on it, and I saw it, but just didn't correct it at the time. Now, what I'm gonna do is follow it up with my mineral oil beeswax mix, and it'll be good to go. So thank you for watching, and until next time, you take care.